So let's answer this following problem under audit of current liabilities. The requirement is the amount to be shown as total current liabilities and the company's statement of financial position on December 31, 2022 is how much? Background to problem, we gather the information below from the records of our client on December 31, 2022. So let's consider the following items whether to be included or excluded from the current liabilities. First is accounts payable include. So this is reported as part of trade and other payable which is presented under the current liability section of the statement of financial position. So include 544,000. Next, cash in Horizon Bank exclude. So this is an asset. So exclude 992,000. Cash overdraft from Summit Bank. So 64,000 pesos. Cash overdraft arise when the company has overdrawn no, its current account and it is presented as part of current liability under borrowings. So therefore, include 64,000. So the exception is if the client has a positive balance from another account on the same bank, then it can be offset on that bank account. But in this case, the one with positive balance is from a different bank. So in that case, offsetting is not allowed. So 64,000 will be presented as part of liabilities. Next, customer's credit balance is 20,000 pesos. Because generally offsetting is not allowed, the 20,000 credit balance from AR will be presented as part of liability. So 20,000 will be presented as part of other current liability in the company statement of financial position instead of it being offset against the debit balances in the AR. Next, dividend in arrears, 320,000. Dividends are recognized once they are declared. So if they are in arrears, then they are not considered as liability as yet. So exclude 320,000. So if any, if the, if the shares are cumulative in nature, then this information will only be disclosed in the notes to financial statements. Next, employees income tax payable include, so this is part of uh, withholding uh, obligation of the company. And uh, this will be remitted to government agency. So this will be part of current liability of the entity, include 80,000 pesos. Estimated warranty payable and estimated premium claims outstanding are examples of provisions. And these are reported as part of the liabilities of the entity. Normally, these type of provisions are current in nature or short-term in nature. So since it normally arises from sales activity of the entity. So include 40,000 and 72,000 pesos. Current liability. Income tax payable include 320,000 current liability. Note payable issued in 2022, maturing in 10 annual installment, beginning on September 30 of the following year, 3.2 million pesos. So this one, this liability contains current portion and non-current portion. So include in the current liability, the current portion only. So since it is payable over 10 annual installment, the principal due next year would be considered current. So that is 3.2 million divided by 10 years. So include 320,000. And finally, salary is payable 320,000. So this is a short term liability also. Include salary is payable. So this will be reported under other payable 320,000. So let us compute the total 544,000 plus 64,000. Plus 20,000, plus 80,000, plus 40,000, plus 72,000, plus 320,000, another 320,000, and another 320,000. So answer 1,780,000. So total current liability.